Hello everybody and welcome back to Thieges YouTube. Pretty much what I do here is I review the most interesting notebooks to come through the PC market, uh, mainly those for gaming. But today I don't have a notebook review for you, instead I have a kind of a special feature. Now as some of you may know, my next review target was the Lenovo IdeaPad Y560 and it still is because I have one right here. Haha, <laughs> I got him off eBay for cheap. And he has a Core i7 in him and a Radeon HD 730, which is a big reason why I wanted to review him, because he's quite potent for gaming. But what I realized when I started using him was that he has a bit of a problem with the keyboard. And you guys uh, who have been using your Lenovo IdeaPad Y560 may have already realized this, because after a couple of months, uh, well as soon as a couple of months into your use, the keyboard starts to do some crazy possessed demon kind of stuff, and well... It sucks, because when you push the H key, uh, it sometimes, uh, whoops, I knocked down my headphones, it sometimes toggles the mute function, or when you push like N or U, it does crazy kind of stuff. It makes playing games impossible with the keyboard, like StarCraft or Call of Duty or uh, Battlefield, Dirt 3, whatever you want to, well, not Dirt 3 if you play with a controller, but anyway, you can plug in an external keyboard, it works just fine, but when you use the built-in keyboard, it's screwy. And there's a small pocket of users on the internet that I've found that have the same problem, so I know it's going to be uh, an issue with a lot of these guys. But I have excellent news for you, because I figured out how to fix it. Now, when you talk to Lenovo about it, they'll say, oh, well, it's a faulty keyboard, and it's just going to send it in. And it is. But the problem is, is that the keyboard cable inside of the notebook is rubbing up against a little bit of a metal piece which causes static interference and you can hear it in your headphones or in, in the speakers themselves where it kind of clicks and pops a little bit. That's the static interference that's coming in uh, when, the, um, when the keyboard cable itself is uh, hitting, uh, is rubbing up against this protruding metal piece. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to fix it. Now, before we begin, what you're going to need is a screwdriver with a small, uh, a smaller Phillips head so you can get the screws out. You're going to need a static bag, an anti-static bag. Um, hard drives come in this, motherboards come in this, so if you bought uh, a computer part recently or you have had some, you know, lying around the house, you're going to need one of these. And also some scissors so that you can uh, cut a small piece out of the static bag. Now, if you guys don't want to watch the rest of the video, you already know all the steps to disassemble your laptop disassemble your laptop. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of static bag, anti-static bag, between the keyboard cable and the protruding metal piece that it's rubbing up against and it fixes all of your keyboard problems. So if you know how to do that, go ahead, great, uh, stop watching the video and get to it. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, keep on watching. I'm going to show you how to disassemble your Lenovo IdeaPad Y5 Y560 so that you can install <laughs> your little piece of static bag. Okay? So, now I have to move the camera. Okay, let's figure out how to do this. Okay, can you tell that this video is a little bit impromptu? I didn't uh, do my hair and my glasses are still on and I'm practically in my pajama pants. So, uh, first step of the day is to obviously unplug the AC adapter. We're going to want to remove the battery as well, if you can. Sure hope I can. Whoops, okay, this is unlocked. <laughs> it was unlocked in the first place. Brilliant, okay. Now then, there's uh, four outer screws here, 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 here. We're going to want to remove those. Now, this screw has actually been de-threaded because obviously the person who had this notebook before me has tried this before and failed. Obviously, because, well, first of all, the screw is de-threaded and the keyboard problem wasn't actually fixed. But, it looks like they might have tried to at least diagnose the problem. So that part of the notebook is broken. 
Anyway, and then there's four other screws. I don't know if you can how well you can see them, but there's four screws underneath the battery with uh, rather large heads that we need to remove. And I actually lost one to the bowels of my carpet when I was trying to do this earlier. So we're going to remove those now. The three that I have left. Uh, whether or not this voids your warranty, I have absolutely no freaking clue. But it'll fix your keyboard, and I know that Lenovo won't want to do it for you. So, kind of a pain in the butt. And I don't know how I'm going to show you this next part easily. See, now what comes off is this part right up here with the speaker grills in it. <clears throat> and it does like to fight you a little bit. At least the first time you take it off, it does. And you want to be careful when you do it, too, because there's actually cables still attached. And it's not going to be as easy for you if you've never done it before. You're going to have to use a little bit of force. But as you can still see, there's a couple of cables still attached. Don't touch them like I just did. That's bad. You want to set that aside. I feel like we're doing an autopsy of an alien species or something like that. And this is the kind of weird shit I say when I'm off the cuff, and I swear. Um, and the keyboard should just come right off. Unless it's... Because it doesn't screw in or anything. It's just those eight screws you need to take off. Apparently. Really? Seriously? Hang on. I gotta double check something. I gotta make... Okay, never mind. No! Yeah! Okay, because there's a screw in the middle of the notebook that I thought you had to take off before that I forgot about, but apparently you don't need to take it off. Anyway, let's go ahead and <clears throat> move this to where you can see it. So the keyboard just pops right off like that. <sighs> Gotta get that little piece out of my way. You don't need to unplug anything. And do you see what I did there? No, you don't. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Dang it! I can't do this easily and show you easily what I did. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to set this to auto focus instead of manual focus. And right underneath the keyboard you can see to your left this is what I did. It's already been done. I Scotch taped <laughs> that piece of anti-static bag, and you can't really see that all that well. There we go. Because it impacts a little protruding metal piece, and I'm just going to take this off here so that you can see it, preferably. Because it impacts that right there. That's what it rubs up against, and it causes a short. So what you do is you take your little piece of anti-static bag that you cut about a quarter size, maybe a little bit smaller. Actually, it's more like dime, penny-sized. And you scotch tape it to the metal part. Please, don't make, please make sure that scotch tape doesn't go over it anymore. Any, uh, anymore over this metal piece right here. And you just scotch tape your static bag so that it covers that metal part that I just showed you. And it comes between that and the keyboard cable. And I'm probably talking way too loud for this camera right now. And then you just put your notebook back together. It's as easy as that, guys. Excuse me. Whether or not it avoids your warranty again, I have no idea. But, um, if you're, if you're Lenovo, uh notebook is doing something like this, you're pretty much stuck in the water as far as, you know, Lenovo isn't going to fix it for you. They're just going to recommend you get a new notebook. So, you know, whether or not it voids your warranty is kind of moot. And remember that snaps back in place. Um, and I had to break mine off because that one screw is de-threaded. You probably won't have as much bad luck as I did. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, and then that's going to fix all your problems. And I'm going to put my computer back together and I'm going to show you just how awesome it works. Fast forward, yay, we're all put back together again and you can see me. Hi, how's it going? And yes, I use a tripod because I'm awesome. 
So we're going to turn that guy back on. We have everything screwed in, the batteries in there and everything. And I'm going to show you just how well this keyboard works. Now remember, when I got this guy, he was all kinds of effed up. Uh, the H key would toggle the mute functions. When you were doing a word processor, there'd be like symbols appearing all over the place. It would randomly minimize itself. There's another video on YouTube that shows just exactly how bad it is. And uh, it was exactly the same thing for me. And I was watching and I was like, yep, 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 that's exactly what I'm going through. And it's starting to make me just a wee bit pissed off. And then I browsed the Lenovo forums because I googled it like Lenovo keyboard issue like I usually do and I browsed those for a couple hours and I, I found one user that did this and he posted, he had one post about this and everyone was all like, oh please uh, give us instructions or whatever and nothing ever happened. The dude's all like, yeah I took apart my notebook and I just put something between the cable and the whatever and the whatnot. Um, and it works great. And they asked him to post uh, other like video instructions, but I thought I don't think you can do that on Lenovo forums, and no one ever made a YouTube video about it. So I'm just going to I have the over the keyboard so you can see what I'm doing. And whoa, my Steam thing is up. Okay, I have a new text document ready to go right up there. Cool, cool, cool. I'm pushing H a lot. Nothing is going wrong. There's U, which is another problem key. Nothing's happening. N. Well, of course, there's something happening. I'm actually typing N and H, and the video isn't, and the, the, whoops, I just knocked the camera, I did it again. The, the, the Lenovo thing isn't popping up that asks me to direct where do I want my hotkeys to go. The mute button isn't uh, doing anything wrong, or it's not being toggled by the H key, and it's just, it just works. It just works, except there I did it with a, Watch out for your touchpad, because the touchpad is kind of um, sensitive. Anyway, those are all things that I'm going to, um, you know, go over in my video review, though. And everything works great, all the hotkeys still work fine, and everything, so... Uh, I highly recommend you do this to your Lenovo Y560, even if you're not having any problems with it, because you will. Um, and yeah, enjoy your new lease on life as a notebook, because this is really a very, very powerful notebook. And with the Core i7-720QM and the Radeon 5730, oh, it's, it's a gaming power machine. So uh, everyone, enjoy your brand new laptop that you're going to get after you apply this fix. Okay? Um, uh, watch for the video review coming up soon of this guy. I'm going to... Have that up for you shortly in the next uh, probably a week or two. Uh, I do have a song on iTunes, Do You Know? It's by yours truly, Thieg. So look up in iTunes, Thieg, Do You Know? It's also a Napster, AmazonMP3.com. Uh, post this video on your Facebook if you so like. If you know friends that have the Lenovo IdeaPad Y560 and they've been having problems with it, go ahead and post a uh, link to this video. And... Subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, whenever I find problems like this with notebooks, I do try and fix it. So, you know, subscribe to me on YouTube. You never know what you might find. And I do have a huge archive of... Not a huge archive. I have a pretty sizable archive of gaming notebook reviews. Okay? All right. Well, everybody, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good night.